last question. Um, potential undisputed bout still isn't announced. Seem like negotiations are stalled out. Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. Uh, what do you think the holdup is? Uh, everybody saying the holdup is Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm but I understand it, man. This guy been undisputed 35, undisputed 40, moving up to 47. He got a belt. He got he got jewelry. He got jewelry at 47. And for them, like Tyson Fury said, I'm fully retired. For me to come back, they're going to have to pay me that $500 million. That's a, a amount that he want for him to come back. He happy with what he done. So to get him back, y'all got to pay him what he want. Y'all want that fight, y'all got to pay that man what he want. Y'all got to do it. Y'all going to miss him. Everybody say, oh, Floyd took so long to fight Pacquiao. He took so long to fight him. He took so long. When the best going to fight the best? And they going to put that money up. The money is different. The money different than it was back then. They got to put it up. If that man won a certain amount or a certain, certain shit, they got to make it happen. If not, he ain't going to fight. As a fighter, do you draw a hard line and it's saying, like, okay, this is the number I want. I either meet it or, you know, I'm going to do something else. Yes, for sure. I think that's that's what they're doing. He should do that. And, man, listen, when, when people get in that ring, especially with a caliber fighter as Earl Smith, his life is on the line. Same as Earl Smith, life is on the line. So, man, get what you can get. Get, get, get more than what you can get. Get whatever, man. Get, get something that's going to satisfy you that if, this is my last fighting boxing. I'm cool. Should there be a rematch clause for both ways? Uh, yes, I, I, I think so. Because, you know, in boxing, you can have an off night any day. You know what I'm saying? And anybody can have an off night. So I, I believe that a fight of this magnitude should have a rematch clause. Now, is there a fine line between, like, you know, wanting your money and wanting legacy? Or should, as a fighter, you put business first? People fight for legacy, but with legacy, you gotta come with money. Legacy ain't gonna pay you better. You know what I'm saying? Legacy might get your family notoriety and people looking up for your family, but it ain't gonna pay your family bill. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all, you gotta have your foundation set. You know what I'm saying? So, I wish I would have known and, and did all that when I was in Boston. But, you know, it's a different time, different era. I think I was blessed to still be able to walk and talk, and still help people be there going. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. No doubt.